Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. We are about to talk about the hottest topic in our country right now. Whoo! And that is the COVID-19 vaccine. You cannot discuss this with anybody without somebody jumping down each other's throats. But I'm going to say this one time and one time only. I am not here to debate anything. You can debate in the comments all you want. That's up to you. But I will say this, this is a personal choice. If you want it, get it. If you don't, don't. That's how I feel. But today we are going to be discussing my personal experience and that's it. That's all. I'm just here to discuss my experience. So let's get into it. All right. So March 11th, I got my first dose. I got it at the VA center because I'm a veteran, I'm a military spouse, and I was able to get it. And now I didn't have to pay for it. I don't know if some people do or not, but this is, I didn't pay for it. Today, I got my second dose. Let's discuss both things. When I got my dose, March 11th, it was 4.30 in the afternoon that I got it. And I went to the VA center, but I should say, I ended up getting on a kind of like a standby list because apparently at the end of the day, if certain doses, if the doses aren't all used up, they throw them away. What? They set all of the doses out for people to come in. They put it in, inject it into you and you go on about your day. That was weird. But I got on the standby list. They called me. They said, hey, can you be here within half an hour? I was literally across the street at the Navy Exchange I was like, oh my God, I'll be right there. I might as, just, just, just go get it. Just go get it for me. That's what I said to myself. Anyway, so I got it. I get there with my oldest daughter and they take us back to a regular room. They sent me down. Are you allergic to anything? Yada, yada, yada. Nope. And the guy who did it, he stuck me in my arm and he, he pinched um, my arm like this. He poked me and going in, oh my God, did it freaking burn like it burned for like two hours after I got it and then two days afterwards I would my arm just hurt only side effect I had from this shot besides my arm hurting that with that first dose is I felt really hot that night probably I Around seven o'clock, I just started to feel hot as if I had been out in the sun too long, but I was at home. It was nighttime. That was my only side effect. Now, let's fast forward today, April 8th, 9.30 a.m. I had an appointment. I went in. I sat down. I'm like thinking, oh my God, this is going to be as bad as the first one. And it wasn't. The lady sat me down. She squeezed my arm again. She shot it with me and I was like, I can't look at a needle. I can't. I get sick to my stomach, but yet I have many, many tattoos. I don't understand the logic either. I never will. And my arm doesn't hurt. For real, my arm does not hurt. And I had this shot at 9.25 this morning, even though my appointment was at 9. And right now it is currently 10.50 in the morning. So I have had no side effects so far. Now, that's not to say I won't have side effects later. So this video is going to be documenting my journey over until tomorrow morning, which will be Friday morning when I finish this video. I'm hoping I don't have bad side effects throughout the day, but that could change. So other than that, that's the second dose, you guys. And I will update you through the video as the day goes on. So it is officially three o'clock on the dot. I am five and a half hours after my shot and I still have no side effects. My arm is not sore. I'm not hot like I was in my first dose and I'm hoping that this continues. So currently going to get the kids from school and daycare and yeah, I just, I just hope this stays the way it is. Oh my gosh, what a day I have had. So we are officially 10.06 at nighttime. Can you guys see that in this light, my ring light? 
So yeah, so we are officially past the 12 hour mark. I am so tired from today. <sighs> Being a stay at home mom is no joke with three children and running your own successful little cake business, side business, whatever you want to call it. But here I am going to give you my 12 hour update before I go to bed. So I was hoping I really wouldn't have any side effects, um, but I have one side effect. And that is my arm is officially sore like how it was when I got the first dose. Damn, that sucked. Like all day long, only within the past like two hours has it become sore. I was so mad. It's to the point sore to where I can't even hardly lift up my arm because like my muscle goes, it's like it's tightened up. And other than no, other than that, that's my only side effect in the past 12 hours, 12 and a half hours. But I'm tired. I will update you guys, see you guys in the morning. And right now, me and Stitch and all my other stuffed animals are gonna go to bed. And yes, I'm a 30 year, 30 year old something woman who sleeps with Disney stuffed animals because I'm that Disney mom. And I'm okay with that. You okay with that, Stitch? I'm okay with that. See, I got custom ears too. Because Stitch is my favorite character, as you can see Scrum is behind me. <laughs> okay, good night. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It's almost 7 a.m. I woke up at 6.15. And oh my god, I do not feel good. I got up and I felt like this rush of hot come over me. And I felt almost dizzy. When I got up, I started walking and it felt like the room was kind of spinning, like the kind of spinning when you're like really drunk for a few seconds. I went to the bathroom, brushed my teeth, got dressed. Now I don't feel kind of sick like I did about half an hour ago. No, I was so hoping to not have side effects the way I did with the first shot. But the good news is I can move my arm now. So it doesn't hurt as bad. It just like, it hurts, but it's not like, oh my God. I did not sleep good last night because my arm was hurting. I, f I was kind of sweating. But again, I was sleeping with a Mickey blanket on top of me. I was cold. I was shivering. Because that's what they told me was to expect flu-like symptoms. I was freezing and I was like, you know, this kind of shaking. And I was hot at the same time. I'm like, what the hell? So, we're almost to the 24-hour mark. Almost. And I will update you guys on that as soon as I can. But right now I gotta get all my kids up for school. Okay, so now it is currently 1.32 in the afternoon. I just woke up from an almost two hour nap. So after gymnastics, I took my daughter to gymnastics. We came home and just slept. She was tired. I don't think I would have slept as long because I did not sleep good after what happened last night. I was shaky, I was clammy. I was on taking the kids to school. My body just ached all over and we got to gymnastics. So my daughter goes in and I just sat there in the lobby like, uh, I felt like death almost. It was crazy. And then I was like, okay, let's go home. I crawl into bed and at this point I'm freezing because it's only like 55 degrees out right now. So I turn the heat up and again, I slept with two blankets, but this time I feel better right now. I don't feel hot. I don't feel cold. I just feel normal again. This was definitely a roller coaster experience. 
that I don't ever want to experience again. But again, this is just my experience. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to me and also be sure to follow me on Instagram for my cake business and my Disney vlog. See you guys later. Bye.